So anyway, welcome back, and this is Glenn, and today we're looking at the first decimal coins of the Gambia. So the Gambia is actually quite an interesting country. It is actually just basically a country that exists along a river, the river the Gambia. And if you look on Wikipedia, you go, how can this country exist? Well, it actually can't exist with the other country, Senegal, which actually surrounds it doesn't allow it to exist because, you know, Senegal is actually a bigger country. And quite frankly, this is pretty much just a country, you know, designed by the United Kingdom because they actually wanted to command those waters. And uh, France pretty much agreed. So this was the division of Africa that took place in the 1800s. And... This country is actually quite small. I think the population is about one and a half million. So its coins are actually not a high mint coin. Uh, it, it's not like Tonga, in which you can actually find some coins, you know, like 20,000, 25,000 are actually minted. Uh, the Gambia actually mints coins uh, only when they actually need it. So these are all 1971 issue. So these are actually a bit of a harder issue to actually get. I, I picked these up for like $20. I think that was actually a good deal because they're almost, uh, probably almost uncirculated to uncirculated grade. And it's actually hard to get those coins, especially the 50 Putut and the Wandalasi, in very good condition. So the mintage figures quite low for most of these so you got 12 and a half million you're 5 million you got 3 million you have also 3 million 1.3 and 1.3 million so that's why these ones are actually a bit harder to get so when they actually introduced these coins in 1971 so here I actually have a proof two shilling and as you can see the two shilling is equivalent to 50 putut that gives an exchange rate of one Gambian pound equal five dalasi. So this coin here would equal to four shillings. And I actually do have a four shilling coin, as well as an eight shilling coin. Uh, I don't have the four shilling, but I do have an eight shilling. And that is actually quite a large coin. I'm not too sure I've showed it on this channel before, but I'll make a separate video on it. And you have the Arabic script that's pretty much says Bututs in uh, I think it's in Wolof or Fulani that I can't remember and here it just says the Dalasi so the scripts on all the actual coins are pretty much the same for the Putut so what do we have in terms of design so if we look at the two bronze coins so the one and the Hyperton, we have peanuts. Mm -hmm. They're okay, especially when they're garlic peanuts from Vietnam. Beautiful. On the five, we have a sailing ship. Yep, we'd actually sail the water, go fishing. On the ten, which is actually a nickel brass coin, we have a double spurred Frank Colon. It looks like a type of pheasant. Probably isn't. Probably not related. But that's what it actually looks like. Then we have. The, oh, let's get rid of that. Okay. African oil palm on the 25. So this was equivalent to one shilling in the previous currency. Then we have an ox on the 50 putut. And on the one delasi, we have a slender snout crocodile. And it's actually not a true crocodile. It's supposed to have evolved uh, a lot earlier then uh, Crocodilus, this is in Messistops, Messistops, that's the genius. They've actually been split off from Crocodilus uh, based on phylogenetic analysis of their DNA. So it might look like a crocodile, but it's actually not really a crocodile. To me, the head and the snout pretty much looks like a phytosaur. Yeah, phytosaurs became extinct in the Jurassic about 200 million years ago. But that's basically what I think it is. But a lot of phytosaur reconstructions or reconstruction 
crocodile like, uh, but they probably were not pretty much like that. Damn archosaurs, God. Uh, yeah, I do like paleontology. So here we have a reeded coin, a reeded coin, and on the back we have the president of the Gambia at the time. This is Dolda Kiraba Jawawa. And as you can see, uh, most of the Gambia is Muslim, so this is pretty much more like the Islamic style headdress as well as the actual clothing. Uh, you probably see similar styles to this in uh, Pakistan. And if we look at the previous coins, so this is a 1966. Uh, we have Queen Elizabeth II, so obviously the decimal coins doesn't have her on it. Uh, but now the country is actually a republic, but it's also still in the actual Commonwealth. And I actually reused designs from the pre-decimal coins on the decimal coins. So 46 pence, we actually have a peanuts. They've just transferred to the one boutout. And... The Frippence, oh, I can't remember what the Frippence had. Ah, that's right. The Frippence had the Frank Collin on it. And the Sixpence. And the Penny actually had the sailing boat. Uh, there was no half penny coin. So, oh, that was pretty low value. A lot of countries probably didn't even worry about issuing a one penny coin and the uh, eight shilling actually has a crocodile quite interesting uh, so what would you be paying for these coins well as i've said of i paid twenty dollars for this coin set in high grade it's actually pretty hard to find these coins in high grade especially as a set uh there were thirty two thousand proof sets not too sure how many uncirculated sets but you know, if you can get it for $20, I reckon that's a good deal. If you see it for $50, yeah, I reckon that's probably a bit too much. You know, even though they're, they're pretty hard to get in high grade. So anyway, I'll leave a link down to eBay to the coins of the Gambia. Actually quite a nice issue. You know, the, the country just fascinates me. Along with a few other countries, I presume. No, all countries fascinate me in certain aspects. Paraguay I'm pretty fascinated with. Mm. This country is pretty small. What's the capital? Uh, capital's Benjul. So, if you ever go to Wiki Maps, or not Wiki Maps, Google Maps, that's even better, uh, look up the Gambia. It's quite interesting, the actual geography as well. And uh, thank you for watching my video.